right guys, so starting by sitting in a comfortable position with your feet crossed, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, let's take a side stretch, taking your left hand down, right arm reaches over, keeping both sit bones grounded, inhale, exhale, let it go, take your body forward now, so we're now we're trying to reach our forehead towards the left knee, really feel that stretch through the right side of your back. Open it out to the side and back to center, switch to the other side. Right hand down, give yourself a nice stretch. And then rounding the spine to the opposite side. So now your forehead is reaching for that right knee. Breathe in. Exhale, open. And back up to center, very nice. And then from here, lifting up our pelvis. You want to ground your hands behind you. Lift your hips. Try to keep your knees on the floor if possible. Feeling the stretch through the quads. And then slowly coming back down. Let's come all the way up to our knees now. We're going to extend one leg out, reaching the arms up and over your head. Taking a side knee plank. And then reaching that opposite arm over towards the top of your mat. So now again, we're feeling that stretch through the side of your body. Breathe in. Exhale, come back up. Switching sides. Inhale, other leg extends. Exhale, other hand comes down and reach. So breathing into the side of your body. A wonderful stretch to start your day with. And come back up. And then from here, coming over to our hands and knees position, starting with our cat cow. Inhale, exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, you arch, you look up. Exhale, round, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, tuck your toes and up into downward facing dog. And take a moment in your downward dog Really feeling the stretch in the back of your legs. Open up those fingers. Good, deep breath in. Open up through the upper back. Inhale again, look up, and then release the heels down. Inhale, lift the heels up into tippy toes, and then release. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Let the heels drop as far down to the ground. Feel the stretch through the calves. And then slowly coming onto our knees, extending your right leg back, and then taking a big step towards the very right side of your mat. And then slowly heel toe your foot to the middle of your mat. Both hands come over to your knees, coming into your low lunge. And then if you like, you can also reach the arms up and over your head. Or if you need a little more support, you can hold onto a chair or yoga blocks beside your body. Come back down with your hands. From here, extend all of your weight to that back knee, extending your right leg. Flex your right foot, inhale. Have split stretch. Come back over to low lunge in your inhale. Exhale, push back. Get that forehead to your knee. Feel the stretch through the right hamstring. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, come forward, tuck your back toes, lifting that back knee off the mat, find your balance first, and then whenever you're ready, slowly reaching the arms right up to the sky, high lunge. And then continuing with the arms, inhale, you're going to bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Continue to move through, and then take your hands down. Deep breath in, exhale, come back over to your knee, and then come back over to child's pose. And this is a moment for you to relax and breathe. Come back center, tuck your toes, and up into downward facing dog. Good. Take a moment to breathe in, walk out your dog if you feel any tension in the back of your legs. Come back over to your knees. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg swings all the way to the left side of your mat. Heel toe your foot to the very center of your mat and then coming up to your low lunge, hands to your knee. 
or you may reach the arms right up towards the sky. Allowing your hips to come forward without letting the front knee pass your toes. Breathe. And then slowly come back down with your hands and extending into our half split posture. Forehead comes down. Inhale, come forward into your lunge. Exhale, press and extend. So your goal is to get the forehead down to your knee. But again, don't worry if you can't. You're going to get there one day with dedication and persistence. Come forward one more time. Tuck your toes. Lift that back knee off the floor. Find your balance. When you're ready, arms up. High lunge. Breathe in. Let's bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Reach up and bend. Reach up. So think of as if you were doing a lap pull down. That's that same motion. You're squeezing the shoulder blades together as you release the elbows. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the hands, lower the body. Drop that back knee. And then from here, come back into your child's pose one more time. Rounding through, inhale, tuck your toes, exhale, coming all the way back into downward facing dog. Give yourself another stretch and then roll through into plank position. Inhale back into downward dog, exhale round through each vertebra into high plank, shoulders above your wrists. Inhale downward dog, Exhale, come forward. Now from here, we're taking a modification of a chaturanga by taking your knees, chest, and then your chin down to the floor. Inhale, lift your body up into your cobra pose, so your upward dog. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, and then come down onto your knees and rounding the spine to child's pose. Deep breath in, exhale, come back over to your knees, and then go ahead and just come into seated position, swinging your feet around, come into cross-legged position, relax the shoulders, release the head, and take a moment to breathe, find your center, and when you're ready, reach the arms up, palms together, exhale, bring the hands to the heart. bow down to your hands thanking yourself for your wonderful practice <laughs>